Hey guys, welcome to the ninth episode of the Cloud Talk Podcast. My name's Joe. I'm here with my co-hosts Pedro, Brian, and Sakia. Hey y'all. What's up, everyone? What do you do? Uh, before we start, be sure to follow our parent media company at the Clap Cloud, uh, covering viral news daily, bringing you the hottest updates on everything uh, relevant in the culture. So, uh, speaking of things that are relevant in the culture, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, what's good with this whole Drake and Kylie Jenner situation? We know Drake and Travis are pretty close, and it's been rumored that they've been uh, having some sort of romantic relationship, Drake and Kylie. Do mm. we think that is true, or do we What's think the evidence? that is Kat? Is there I any haven't evidence really at all? seen any I haven't evidence. seen any. I just That's see two photos of them and people saying romantic relationship. Yeah, <laughs> I've just seen event. a bunch of tweets, public event, rela- romantic, like just buzzwords, you know what I'm saying? People to click on the headline. But there hasn't been a lot as far as, like, the articles go. At least that's my understanding of it. Unless you guys saw something I didn't. I, I Personally, I'm on the same page as you. Okay. So, are we just... Do we just think it's cat for clicks, then? Yes. Like, we, we do? Okay, good. She just loves it. I don't... It. Man, you know, Drake's kind of a thought. Like, and he has definitely been known to go after, like, other people's girls before. Yeah. But on the low, uh, like, re- like, Yeah, like, it's more on Some, the low. Like, he's slick with it. It's Drake. Know, Come yeah. on, man. He's <laughs> slick. We know this. So like, Champagne poppy. But both of them are such public figures, I don't even know if they could be slick with it. Like, That's what Kylie, I'm saying, dude. Kylie literally has, I feel like there's like a personal paparazzi just everywhere. for her. Everywhere. At least one. One, At think? least one. Yeah. I doubt it. Because they get her everywhere. Everywhere she goes. You doubt the paparazzi thing, or you doubt that they're having a romantic relationship? I doubt their romantic relationship, because I haven't seen any proof yet. Exactly. Of the exactly. Um, Bro, it just seems like, I don't know, man, people are trying to paint Kylie as like an industry thought right now. I don't like, like that because I'm a fan. I know. I like her, too. <laughs> I really like her personality. So she's, just, like, yeah. so she's, like, 100% done with Travis now, like, straight up? No. They like, still, so, like, co parent that, Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm friends. saying. That's why I think it's cat. But they're, like, they straight up broke up. Like, shit? Yeah. yeah. I mean, they could that's get... Crazy. We never know how people get back yeah. together. We don't like, really right know now, they're not scenes. a couple anymore? Correct. Yeah, that is correct. It's actually... Like yeah. But that she's crazy sad, that actually right? like literally went like the way they <laughs> Low key, Dude, bro. I do not think I do not think that she's with Drake at all. There's That's no what I'm chance saying. of that Either. shit. And Drake ever. and Travis are pretty tight too. Literally it just sounded like people were like, We got no other news. Yeah, for we'll real. Just put two it photos was, together. It was kind of a dry week, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> if anything, it would be Kylie's best friend, Stasi, who has like a fling with Drake. Because we've yeah. seen like he shouted her out for like her birthday one time on the IG mm-hmm. and she did the same. She was at his birthday party, she was at another event with him. But Isn't I'm just she like ha- they probably he all have just a girl? Cool. He okay. has that girl that was like, he was like talking to her since she was 16, right now she's like 19, 18, and like that's his girl, right? You're talking about Millie Bobby Brown? No, not <laughs> Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> Millie Bobby Brown's like 16 right now. No, no, yeah. I, I know. I was, just, I was just fucking around, for the, I was just fucking <laughs> around for the memes. I was just fucking around for the memes. Do you know who you're talking about? Uh uh-uh, uh. I don't he ha- he, she was in the Chris Brown music video. I know she? who you're talking about. Yeah, really? she was in the that's no, like his she was gr- in the No Guidance video. That's that's his girl, isn't yeah. it? With the curly hair? And now he's going to Kylie. But I don't I don't know we don't I don't know if they're still together though. I haven't seen anything about them. He's been keeping her super low key. I because think she's partly like because super, she's kinda young. She's probably because people are sketched the fact that he's even with her in general. Yeah, yeah. just take it wide. Yeah. Like, like when she was just like they sixteen, you were like thirty eight. Okay. Yeah, as someone who's not You're like literally twice her age. Yeah. Multiplied by two. He is a lot older. I'm starting to think the whole Kylie and Travis relationship is fake. The whole thing? You think that Kylie and Travis relationship is fake? Yes. They have a daughter, though. I know, but, like, That's what nowadays, what, what do you, like, you can do anything. They had a whole for, movie. For like, money. they had a whole movie talking about, like, their story of the kid. And, like, think about it, bro. They're both young as hell. Like, why are they married right now? Because they made stupid decisions. Yeah. And I know, but, like, you see, like, right after, like, not even, like, well, six Tra- months how, after. How old is Travis? He's older. 26. I want to say like 28. He's 28. I wouldn't I be wish. surprised. I think he's like mid to late 20s. And she's um, 22. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. It just seems she probably. Fake to me, right? He's like, I think he's like 26, 27. She's like 22. So yeah. they've been like. Let's... Dude, I do not think that Travis and Kylie relationship is fake. I'm sorry. I just don't <laughs> think it is, bro. Like, you if you, you think about it, in the end of the day, he probably thought he found the person that he wanted and he just realized it wasn't her. Travis right. guy is 28 years old. Like, literally, like. <laughs> That was his girl. You're telling dude. me you wouldn't have a girl. I mean, you wouldn't have a baby with the girl for the clout and the money. She's crazy mm. rich. And crazy she bad. Is crazy and rich. <laughs> and it gives him crazy <laughs> stimulus, too. That's but there's no way he was, like, thinking like that at the time, dude. I think he was. It is so hard to get with Kylie Jenner. Like, he probably was, like, actually trying to get with her, like, 
be with her type shit. But yeah. why they break up then? I mean, that's like personal stuff though. Like, there's reasons everyone they breaks said up. People what, like sources they said just, like, they were going different paths. That yeah. sounds yeah. realistic. You know what I mean? That sounds if realistic. They're going different paths. Maybe it's about Kylie being a hoe. Oh. Or maybe about, I mean, <laughs> no offense, Kylie. It could be yeah. like, dude, I did not, Joe, come on. You really think that they were sitting there and he was like, why you keep thotting around? And she's like, I can't stop. And he's like, we're breaking up. Story. I mean, it really wouldn't would exactly happen like that. I think it was I'm just, just like the fact that he was like out every night at the studio, like making yeah, absolute bangers. Like, like he's literally a superstar. <laughs> she's at home with a bill check and her child and bored as shit. Bro, she'd be working too, though. She'd be working. She'd be, working. She'd be going she You know for a fact that she is not like, out as much as he is. She has her own makeup line though. But she also has a child. She and has she's... to make like random. Bro, they also have nannies. Though. No, but there's a, there's like we we talked about this in the last podcast. Like there was like she literally said like what? she's like at home like taking care of the child. And, like she'll always like be in bed like before he gets home and stuff. Like oh. she's there. She's home. Like I understand that she's definitely like a, a businesswoman and she is like right. she's not always home. But, but are you she saying that her schedule might be a little more flexible than Travis? Yeah, definitely. And that was an He's a big impact on their relationship. She was pregnant. She she had to like restrict herself from a lot. Of oh stuff. well, definitely during the pregnancy. Yeah, yeah. without a doubt. She ch- she chose to hide it. So. Yeah, yeah, th- they hid it. Facts. I remember they did hide the shit out of it for Y'all, a long like, ass that time. That time was that's a crazy That's really time impressive. That's really impressive. Honestly, my best friend, she was like, she's pregnant. I'm like, I disagreed actually, for weeks. It actually, really months. wasn't even that. Like, she's like, Sakia, why hasn't she been posted? Kylie used to post every day. Sakia, she's pregnant. I was like, maybe she's just going through a depression, y'all. Something that we need to under- understand. <laughs> Do you not remember that? Oh, <laughs> there was a rumor. That, the there was the rumor that she was pregnant. Remember, and then yeah. like it officially came out that she was pregnant. But like I literally knew the whole time. She, she came was out pregnant. with a whole album promo Smart. video that she was pregnant. Yeah, yeah but, but it was like YouTube. Like, this was what, yeah. like, I remember, like, I don't know if y'all remember, but, like, everyone thought Kylie was pregnant, and, like, there was no proof about it at all. And, and then, like, we, we like... just all gave up on it, and then it was ended up being true. <laughs> yeah? Like, that's literally how it yeah. was. You're right. No, but... I think Stormy is a bridge to the bag. But do y'all... A bridge to the bag for Travis? And Kylie, like... Oh, for both of them, you think it's even, mutual? Even if they both split up, of they're always gonna both be, like, oh, yeah. together because of, of the kid. Yeah, obviously. But, like... Yo, I think Stormy's gonna be a boss. I'm, I'm <laughs> lit for Stormy that. to grow up, bro. I'm gonna be 40. I'm gonna be paying attention to her, exactly. bro. Exactly. I'm gonna We're be like, gonna what be, is Stormy she's doing be right like now? Like 19. <laughs> Stormy she, Webster. Out of all of the child, like the child, like the big celebrity couples, their children. Like I'm talking about, like Blue Ivy. I'm talking oh, about Northwest. Like I am the most interested in Stormy, Stormy Webster by far. Dude, That's just North me, North is... No offense to everyone else's kids. Kanye, I'm sorry, bro. Don't come for me, bro. No, 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 because they said they put in North in, like, music classes. Like, who knows? She could just come out with a beggar. No, for real. Sure. You're right, <laughs> God. You're right. <laughs> what else you got? That'd be crazy. It'd be interesting to see if they make music. Yeah. Yeah, I... Hopefully yeah. they're not, not, like... YNW B slime like literally like Stormy Webster is like twelve years old releasing music videos. <laughs> oh, I doubt it. I doubt it. I think that she'll probably wait. Her like the thing is like the celebrities like they know what it's like to be in the limelight. They don't really want that for their kids, yeah. especially at such a young age, because they know all the mistakes they made when they were young. They don't want it for their their kids, bro. Right. It's just, but it's gonna be just unavoidable. This man Travis and exactly. Kylie had such a different beginning. If you think about it. like this man Travis really really grinded, she did not. Yo, okay. have you ever? Um, it's just like like. Whether like people want to argue, whether people want to argue, like, <laughs> dude, I'm not saying that her family gave her absolutely everything, but like this man literally came from nothing, nothing. and he was like, what, I mean, not like nothing, but like this man came from no fame, and she came from like, I literally mean, still like the biggest family in the famous. whole world, yeah. Yeah. like still the biggest family in the whole world. Yeah, you know, um, have you heard about the uh, the story of Travis Scott when he kind of like fucked over some people in Houston on his rise to fame? No. No. There's like a really interesting article on it. Well, not article. It was like a Reddit post. And this dude, he's been like, I think he got like cross checked or something. Like, like, of whether it was like legit or not. Um, he was dropping like a lot of like real names and stuff out of Houston. And basically, he was saying that he was Travis Scott's manager and he was the guy who found Travis Scott. But like, he just got fucked over because he had like a seizure or something. And like, and Travis Scott like left him in the club, and then he just didn't want to work with him anymore because he was, felt that he was unreliable because of his uh, physical state when he was having what? the seizure. Yeah, that's my first. I mean, it it could be Cap. I don't I don't want to like. I mean, that's say that it's <laughs> definite. But I was like, I was like, I, it, I was like, damn, like that's kind of like that's really fucked up that that happened. Like, because they had a seizure. I mean, I guess I guess you're right. Like, it could potentially like. You don't really want your manager to be in the hospital. Like, you do want them to right. be, be reliable. But, like, that's your boy, though, and, like, he's helping you, like, come up. Like, just... What well, come are we him. talking about? Is this, like... He's probably like, talking about, grinding like, in Houston. Are you talking about, like, pre-Al Faro? Are you talking about pre-Days? Yeah, I'm talking about pre-Al Faro. Oh, yeah. Well, he probably was just, like, I don't know. 
had a way different mind state. Because because he moved to L.A. when he started making like making his albums and shit. But like this is in Houston, he was making his real like under like his real like beginning music. Did he make rodeo all in L.A.? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well then, yeah. That's, I mean, that's interesting. Because in days before, well, it's like I think days before the rodeo, it's like supposed to be about like Rodeo Drive, like going to L.A. Oh, okay, like, that makes yeah. sense. Makes sense. It's like before he got to LA yeah. but he was I think he was in LA when he was making it but he was just talking about what he did before and then Rodeo was like what he was doing like right that's then. interesting though that he just like left his mans like that well yeah it, it's potentially true um I definitely I, it's definitely an interesting find if you yeah. if anyone wants to look it up it's yeah. probably available on the internet pretty accessibly uh have you guys sure. heard this story? Let us know. Yeah, we'll drop a comment if you've heard this story and want to know more about it. Maybe we can do a topic for it sometime. Yeah. Okay. So we've come to the decision that it's cat. Yeah, we'll let it unfold. I think this is like... Drake and Kylie is cat. So we see more <laughs> evidence. no scenario yeah. words. It, it honestly would be like... It would be so crazy if that shit was true. Yeah, it would be crazy. Because I'm just saying... I thought, I thought the Tiger Kylie thing was cat. Oh, from oh, as soon as that ki- Tiger came back, I knew it would be kept. She wouldn't do that, like even for her reputation. That's what I'm saying. Like, she's, she's what like, was good yeah, with like, the like, cactus like, Jack? Woman, like, why would she what do what that? was good with the Cactus Jack like troll photo though? When he was when he was wearing the um the Travis Scott uh, Jordans. Oh yeah, it, yeah. Well, I posted up like with his Lambo or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's I don't know. That's just weird. I don't know. You just did it I'm for just, engagement. You think he just did it for engagement and he just knew that it would just it was the right time to post this picture like that? <laughs> Hell yeah, because that picture was everywhere. Smart I'm hit. Everyone was talking about that picture. But did, didn't it come out that it, like, some more, like, evidence came out that it might have been true, though? Or did we not, or you did about? y'all not see that? I didn't With the Tiger and Kylie. Oh, remember There's she, no remember way she tweeted? True, remember she personally tweeted? Yeah. She was just like, just because I dropped a friend off at the yeah. studio, not quoted, but something along those lines. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see Means that, that I, or whatever. But weren't they spotted at a, at a, um, at a post-game party after, like, a show together or something? I think it was just like they were at the same party. They there was, like, no there. actual, at the same I don't party. think there's, like, we talked about this in the last podcast, I don't think there's any more proof than, like, what okay. it got. I don't Get think it right. got like any more okay. proof behind it. Got you. Okay. I just wanted to clarify. I'm sure people definitely. I just want to see like, her like thoughtiness get exposed. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know that it would just like you would just her be like if you woke up and how do you even know she's a thought? If you know Not. you know well they're all the Kardashians are like a thought clan. Oh god. But like I you can't know agree. that's a sound bite. <laughs> Chris Jenner can get Dude. It any day, bro. That's the baddest. That's bite. the sound bite. <laughs> Noted. Okay, yeah. Noted. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Noted. No, but on, I thought it was Chloe before. On some real shit, you know recently. that if you woke up and Chris Jenner. <laughs> recently have you seen Chloe's ass, bro? That it, should look like a diaper bag. Like unproportional, <laughs> right? Yes. Damn. Shit, you know that if you woke up in the morning and you just saw on your phone it was like not even like on your phone but you like actually saw proof that Kylie was with Drake you'd just be like oh my fucking god like literally is this actually real I'm hit that's what I said that's what I said when I yes. looked at it I was like is this fucking real and then you look and you scroll down one just one more and you literally see, see proof that she was with Tyga that she was with Tyga just both of them back then to back I guess we Damn, like, bro, she, I'd, be, I'd be sad she literally would, would be like on some high school shit <sighs> I saw I saw like a big tweet about that. Someone said that shit. That some it was high school, school shit. Yeah. She's like on some like high school in LA shit right now. But she's yeah. not, right? Oh. <laughs> she's not on that. I mean, low key, she's not. She's probably not doing any of this bullshit. We gotta wait for the proof. Be sure to drop a comment on what you think. Please. You know, realistically Again, I'm though, with the comments, guys. I feel like if she was really like getting with like, some other man's, like it would not be on the news, like. It would be on some low key ass shit. I just I don't know, I just bro. Feel she's like such you a and why would she like? Why she would she be like? Why secret. would she be like? It's just like, dude, she just got, like, broken up with her man that she was with for, like, two years. Why is she like, I need to be with Drake right now? Like, why Drake? Uh, like, literally just like... Why not Drake? Because no. Drake is just going to cause so many more problems in your life. I'm telling you, it's because they're... they're you know, you, said Drake, you, think, you think Drake creates problems? No, I don't think Drake creates I just like the fact that, like, that's going to cause a lot of drama. And you know that's true. It's that like, not even... A, it's like a fact. That's mm-hmm. literally a fact. I, but I also think it was bad timing. I have a question for yeah. you. Listening. All right, this is off topic. From Listening. The Kylie Jenner and Drake stuff. So let's say you're a father, right, of a, of a daughter, right? And your <laughs> daughter is 18, right? Are you still going to the gynecologist? That is the Hell no, because <laughs> I'm not fucking T.I. <laughs> <laughs> that is sketch as shit. That sketch? Dude, no. did you, you hear about that? <laughs> yeah, of course I heard about that. Yeah, oh uh, that shit is actually insane. That, that is some is that is some helicopter parenting if I've ever seen it. That's oh what my I'm god, saying. I would like, not, you hear about that? I would not do that. Shit. Yeah, I heard about yeah, it. I'm just a, trying to process how I feel because I feel weird. At 18, it, no, bro. That is a huge that's all, that's invasion. Like, of how long has it been going on though? 
He like, said like it's all her whole life. life. Yeah. It's, it's, ever since she started going, realistically, probably since she was like twelve or something like or that. Or like fifth, maybe yeah. somewhere around that. Right? Well, ever since she started going, I mean, you don't go like when you're like eight, right? Right. No, you go 13, like I think. no, like fifteen, sixteen. Yeah. Really? Okay. okay. Just yeah. once you get your period. Damn. Yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> so it could I, be young. Someone needed to say it. it could I was going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, this shit was wild. Lady. It's it's definitely a violation of her personal like. He's like, I don't give a fuck. Well she's getting being. that check and she's getting that shelter. <laughs> Whether and that's and my seemed... father or not, it just there's a line. I agree with you. There's personally. a line, and it it just seems like she definitely feels the same way. Like she was she favoriting just... a lot of tweets about it. Like with people right, I, I sympathizing with her, she was favoriting, she was favoriting a lot of she's like, yeah, like, yep. yeah. I just can't. So imagine it's probably how she feels. But she can't. Honestly, do he's probably like he's probably like. If you don't like it, get out of my house. Like, straight up. That's probably how he thinks. Or something even more. That's like some I'm real like... parenting shit. He's probably like, I give you that. I give you the house. Like, this is like the one thing I ask for you not to be a hoe. You know? It's not even like her being a hoe. It's just like just her own right to like have sex. Body. Like, Yeah, like, it's like her own right. <laughs> he does not yeah. need to be there, like, in her hymen. Like, exactly. <laughs> I, he well, I don't, I don't think she, he, like, is, like, going up with the guy not. and, like. No, he's just right there outside the door. He's like, I need like, to like, yeah, like, yeah, make sure she didn't pay him off. To lie. Uh, yeah. Oh God, that just see that right there. I just can't imagine like waking up, being here, and be like, time for another checkup <laughs> with my dad. <laughs> Ti for another checkup for another year. Bro, check like up. honestly, it's not I funny. feel it's weird speaking sad. about something that is like a really personal thing. Yeah. How did this even come out? That's what I want to know. He How said it in an interview. Yeah. He, he said, said it, it in an interview. But then I think that he, he just exposed himself. He th- probably thought he was normal. Everyone's like, "Oh hell no!" Nah, he, he thought he was normal. That. That's interesting. <laughs> I did see in in like um in the articles that he said it with no shame. Yeah, he... no shame. That's interesting. Like he just didn't give a fuck. He's it's, like, like, yeah, I, yo, I would. That's not something I would share with the public if I did that. I well, I wouldn't do it. But like, if I did, right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, share, share, I wouldn't that. even share that shit with my wife. Oh, <laughs> well, I feel like she. she I feel like she has to, to be yeah. looped in though. Yeah, I'm. Just, I'm just saying, like. I just feel like as a woman, she would probably disagree. Definitely. I don't know. It's just like, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> High key, I think the like, television obviously is like the devil for kids because like, it's basically mind control. It basically, it basically like teaches them a lot of stuff that they're watching. Like They could be watching anything. Like It teaches like, them like, the A great example way. is Spongebob. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> you learn so much from Spongebob just growing up watching that shit. Yeah, and a lot of people... And a lot of people think opposite too like a lot of parents don't let their kids watch Spongebob because they think they'll I wasn't allowed to watch Spongebob I wasn't but then my mom kind of caved in I was like mom it's funny I never even had like parents that were even like you cannot watch this (laughs) like my parents were like would you even care like just put that shit on (laughs) like you're in the same way nah yeah my mom was just like hell yeah watch Spongebob but I couldn't watch like um like South Park or Family Guy. I could watch Family Guy or America yeah. Day either. They are pretty bad. Like, like they're, they're awful. Kids, they're I don't so know why my parents even kids. let me. Like, Honestly, dude, like South Park is so bad for kids. Yeah, but at the same time, like he took away her makeup too. Like, is there like yeah. when you were four, did you have makeup? I had like fake lip gloss, uh-huh. like f- you know, like it's like a like the dollar store. Mm-hmm. So yeah. It's like fake. It is like you never really wore it like out. You just, just played so with like the a inside. Princess. But it's just different when your mom is Kim Kardashian. Yeah, that's fact. It, like, it's different. Like yes, my mom wore makeup. Yes, I looked up. You know, every girl watches their yeah. mom do their makeup. But come on, y'all. It's I, like of course she's gonna. And the kid being a mom, of course she's gonna like play with it on her daughter and make her feel like. But Kanye is. Just I guess she just doesn't want her. It. I guess he just doesn't want her kids to like feel like they need to like do anything to feel good. Like he just wants their kids to, like. I don't know, like, if you think about it, dude, like, there's a lot of, like, fucked up shit in this world, and, like, you don't want your child, you don't want your child to, like, live through all that, like, he's just trying to, he's like, he's like, I know that, like, like, you understand that, like, being just, like, an adult, like, makeup has done a lot to girls' heads, and he doesn't want his child to, like, go through that. I that. The makeup yeah. part, I understand, but yeah. the TV I'd, part, I guess, I don't know. I'd like to touch on that, and the TV part as well. Uh-huh. I think that this is attributed to Kanye's headspace right now, yeah. with, um, if you look at any of his recent interviews... He's talking about sheep mentality and that he wants people to branch out from that. Yeah. He says he's saying that everyone's brainwashed, right? Mm-hmm. And that everyone keeps doing the same things over and over again. Mm-hmm. Kanye has in his mind at least has broken out of that headspace. So he doesn't want his kids to be conformed to societal norms like learning everything you do from T V. He wants in or they putting on makeup because of women feel the need to look pretty. Right, um, at such a young age. At such a young age. And he doesn't want them to be, like, they're in the limelight all the time. They're surrounded by all these materialistic things. He probably just wants them to be able to think for themselves. I think that's what I think everything is attributed to. Yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, it, it, it's, 
you, you're kind of just saying it from a different angle, but like I feel the same way. Like he wants them to do live their own life, like not do the same thing everyone else does. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And it's not like he's. But I think it's like super TVs. deep. Yeah, yeah. It's he's just not, from their rooms. Yeah. So like he controls what they watch, like or at least can like structure it a little bit. Understandable. Like, yeah. Which I definitely understand as a parent. I do too. That's the thing. Like I completely get it. Maybe he's doing it a little bit differently than we would, but like. Like, I know, like, when, if we, be ha- we have kids, like, we're going to do our things our own ways. And, like, we're going to, like, Everybody. like at least I am. Like, I'm going to, like, do things like I see it. But that's okay. just the way he is. And, like, yeah. can we get a fact check about what Kim's exactly said on The Real? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know She's, she yeah. Because, you know, the media be twisting everything. I've so. watched it, but I don't want to quote it. You're saying, yeah, because a few clips, they might have edited some shit. Yeah, I want to know what Kim said about that. Angry. I wonder, like, what her... She was just on the real like last week. Dis- she seemed like she kind of disagreed. It's like she disagreed, but she was kind of just like... I know that at one point, it might not have been on the real, but she did say, like, he's experienced his own journey at a different time than me. Yeah. And that kind of may cause a little bit of, you know... Mm-hmm. Which is understandable. I mean, that was, like that a was realistic, the stand-up quote for me as it's well. Like a real, it's like a realistic scenario. Like, they have lived a whole different life, and they're going to see their kids differently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you want to know what she said about, like, the TVs and everything? Yeah. yeah. She said, he's very cautious about what we have in the house, share the keeping up with the Kardashian star. We got rid of TVs in the kids' room and removed makeup from North's room. That's it. What if, okay. what if he did, what if he just didn't want them to find out that they were on a TV show? I'm just kidding. What? Oh Isn't my that gosh, crazy? that's funny. That's, so funny. that's actually they know they have really cameras around the house all the time. There's yeah, somebody they following them. Well, they, maybe. The older ones now. The could, older ones now. They could just be like we're just recorded for like a a, a family. No, <laughs> no, is long is family. North North is the oldest, right? Yes. Yeah. North six. North probably knows. She's six. Maybe like the younger ones. But he just doesn't watch the. But he doesn't want them just like watching all that bullshit on the TV, dude. It's honestly probably just Straight that up. simple. Like Kanye's probably like, I don't want you watching all this bullshit. Taking if you want to t- watch, if you want to watch something, go on YouTube. Taking the TVs out of the room isn't that bad. Now that I'm thinking about it, because like I didn't even have a TV in my room, so like, just, like I wasn't allowed to have a TV in my room. I had a room. I have a TV in my room personally. It would suck if I didn't have it, but like, damn. And you were watching South Park. You were lucky. No, I wasn't as a kid. watching South. I just oh, okay. was. I was just <laughs> able to watch it if I wanted to. I didn't watch it though. Family Guy. <laughs> yes, but um, I mean, like, if you think about it, probably just like there's just no reason for that, especially with like internet now. Like, it's just yeah. realistic. Yeah. And he, especially for them, he's like, I don't want y'all sitting here all day watching TV. Well, it's not like they have laptops, though. Yeah. You're talking about with internet now. No, but they definitely have a desktop in the household they, they can log on to. Yeah, probably. Uh, one episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, North was like, she's a big fan of uh, JoJo Siwa on uh-huh. YouTube. You know that, like, little girl be singing? I she wears, like, really big I don't know. Do you watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians? You shouldn't like know. Do you yeah, wa- you I do. Yeah, I really okay. do. You shouldn't know who she is. If you did, I would laugh. Jojo yeah. Siwa, please well, Google her app. We're on the same page. You're going to look at her. She wears big bows. <laughs> I just know her because I, I know what you're talking about. Okay. You were doing the, how she got to meet her and stuff. Yes, yeah. So, like, yeah. yeah. so it's like she watches YouTube, but yeah, I think the TV monitor is definitely what I wonder, reasonable. If there's a restriction on YouTube about like videos of Kanye's interviews and stuff like that, like. <gasps> oh, you, they have like a parental restriction on the. Maybe. That is, that is 100% a reality. Yeah. They, <laughs> you know that shit. You know. Like, you and you even know YouTube? for a fact, bro, that. Settings? Maybe just for him, maybe. Or and they you could just block the account. You even know for a fact, like, you could probably bet money on the fact that at home, keeping up with the Kardashians is banned on TV. You know that shit is true, bro. You know it is. <laughs> Probably. Probably, bro. It would make sense. Because, yeah. like, they, I mean, there's so much, like, fake drama. There's so much real drama. Because they like, just, like, like just get so home and put that shit on. on. Like, They're like, literally, I'm watching my life, but fake. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's actually hilarious to think about. I wonder what they think about that show. Like, being on it and stuff. Do you think they, like, enjoy being on it? Or do you think they just fucking Oh, yeah. Hate well, it? They enjoy that show. Yeah, I know Kim does. Oh, they enjoy the check, for sure. Can't you say Kim does? From day one on, uh, what is it? It's like E's uh, True Hollywood Story. Yeah. Did y'all see that? Her, I watched a little bit of her episode and she was just like, quote, wait, I don't even want to say quote, but she was just like, they asked her if she could change anything about her being famous. And she was like, no, I just think I'm made for it. Okay. I'm like, from day one, she knew. So Do you know you Kim know, Kardashian's birthday? Kim Kardashian's? Uh-uh, but it just okay. passed. It, it just passed? It, just, it was like okay. a month or two. Uh, something like that. I was trying months to get her, her, uh, her star sign. Yeah. yeah, Christiana just turned. That's like, crazy, but um, woman. I mean, dude, it's, I guess she just is made to be famous. She's that yeah. narcissistic about herself. She wants to see. <laughs> you seen her when she was like, like sixteen? Like she was looking like a twenty-year-old. Yeah. Like it was crazy. She was in that well, music video. Remember we talking about? Video, right? oh, yeah. 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 Or well, or didn't she say that she wasn't? I wonder if there's it? any more information about that. Nothing now. came out. <laughs> Nothing came out. I wonder if people I like. Was, I was on that shit. I wanted to know. So I bad. know, but I wonder if people like resoluted like the picture enough where you could actually tell if it's her or not. I mean, I thought the picture was zoomed in enough that it looked enough like her, it but did. she said it wasn't her. Who knows? 
but she's just not going to admit the other music video she was on. That's yeah, I bad. know. That's that doesn't really bad. make any sense. Because why wouldn't she just say it? I Maybe she doesn't want anyone to get in trouble. Yeah. Or maybe she just doesn't want people to know that I was her on that. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. facts. I had that um, new Popeye sandwich. Bro. Yo, I haven't, actually. I, I actually have, haven't. I had it actually before, before it stopped being released. I had it like... A the month, first time. I had it like two months ago. Okay. Sure. The yeah. first release. Yeah. Is it better so, than the Chick-fil-A one, in your opinion? Yeah. Crispier. It definitely Ooh, is. It Ooh, I see. I would is. think it's way more. It's definitely like way more food in it, too. It's just like the fact that people are literally dying over the sandwich. Like, how is, is that, that even possible? And Boondocks point. predicted it. That's all I'm going to say. Really? Well, yeah, it? have you not seen that episode? No. There's a whole episode when they make this this fried chicken place. Oh, my And, like, my people gosh. are literally, I like, scrapping <gasps> all over that like, trying funny. to get these sandwiches. And they're on, like, limited stock, too. Like, it's this whole thing. Oh, my And gosh. then, um, basically what the episode turns out to be is that it creates an epidemic. Like, the, the sandwiches were poisoned. And the, people, like, have to make the decision... Do I still go eat this sandwich, or and and, die, and literally die, <laughs> or or do I just not eat it? If but this people ever are so on addicted Earth, to I'm Popeye, leaving. like well, the Popeyes in this situation, in that they keep eating it, and it creates a literally pandemic of people still yeah. choosing to order the sandwich and killing themselves. What if it was a how, crazy episode. What go check out how, Dogs, what, yeah. what if this fire. What if what? What if this actually happens? I'd be really sad because I'd probably be dead. Because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to try it. I haven't tried the Popeye's really chicken sandwich I really want to try it, too. I know. It's just, like, I don't know, there's but, a lot of videos of people, like, getting so mad at each other. Yeah. It's just, like, crazy. Like, just literally shut the fuck up and eat your sandwich. It's <laughs> absolutely crazy. <laughs> What's one of the videos? Dude, there's this, like, white guy, <laughs> yeah. and he just, like, goes off at everyone, saying oh. a lot of racial slurs that he should not that's, say. That's it, he claimed that's somebody so cut him in line. Exactly. So He's, it's just, like, after then he that. he literally got, like, bitch. he got his ass beat outside, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he literally sounded like... It made him say, I'm sorry. He said, I'm sorry. I high key feel bad for the workers. I went to Popeye's, bro, and, like, literally the workers, too. like, go through it. They do you know how many workers they hired for this Popeye's expansion? How many? 6,400 workers they hired. For, that's for, awesome. for the sandwich that's coming great. back. Creating new jobs. That's great. What the yeah, fuck is grinding, happening? Grinding how they, that's literally crazy. 6,400 people came back because of a sandwich <laughs> that was already out but came back that, in the stock. <laughs> Hey, I mean, what are you going to do if it's in high demand and you're getting all the How would they never have the chicken sandwich before? I don't know. I always thought about I Honestly, I don't know. Right? Maybe so, because they've been building this marketing no, for years. No. They've, they've, they've not been smart building this the way since, that like, they the put 80s. it out, though. Oh, yeah, like, definitely. Their marketing team. Test out they have no are we better they're, than they're, they're smart, but at the same time, they're not smart. Like, they could do so many better commercials other than open on Sundays. <sighs> you're but, right. But you know, like, tax the competition, though. It attacks the competition. I think it's perfect. It's It's short and sweet to the point. It gets exactly. How about what something else that you y'all have other than the fact that you're open on Sundays? <laughs> but like it's sweet. literally it says we're not Chick Fil A. Ryan, we're are not you better. completely missing the point? <laughs> Explain it, bro. Obviously, it's they're targeting Chick Fil A and they don't want people to not like Chick Fil A because one, they're not open on Sundays for religious reasons and like all their homophobic shit. They're bringing everything to light. Okay. That they are that they don't give a fuck about because they're just trying to sell chicken. But Chick Fil A has all their like values or whatever like their. I know, you're somewhat you homophobic. Like yeah. we already are in touch with what Chick Fil A stands right. for. Popeyes is literally marketing themselves as they don't give a fuck. We're open on Sundays. Anyone can eat at a restaurant, so people are more likely to go eat there. Plus, with all the rage about the chicken sandwich right now, it's great marketing. It's all. Together. It is. I'm just saying. I feel it's like they could. I feel like they could just say like a little bit more reasons. Like I feel like if it was just like other than we're open only on. I well, feel like you, if it was more want, than we're only up on Sundays, they would get more customers. Well, do you want them to list why Chick Fil A? I don't is, think like, they need anti- any more customers. <laughs> yeah. When you got lines outside that like wraps around. Can we go over that real quick? Is Ch- Chick Fil A like they're just like a Christian like place? So is that why people assume that they're like they they actually feel these ways about no, people? No, they they I think people in corporate have said shit like that. Like, they've said things like that. I've never actually seen a quotation, but it could be true. Okay. Can we get a fact check on that? Has Chick-fil-A ever said anything homophobic? Like, actually said anything homophobic themselves. Like, cause I'm actually interested. Because, like, you know, like, the reason that people say it is because, like, they definitely are, like, homophobic low-key because, like, they are just, like, so religious. And, like, there right. definitely are people higher up, like, from Alabama and shit that, like... like right. They've just supported, <laughs> um, like, policies that go against, like, gay people. That's the... Like, well, there you go. I think what it's saying is, like... I don't know if they're, like, that's the thing, Joe. I'm always confused if it's, like, literally the policy is, like, straight up, like, against or for, like, home of, like, uh, and then, like, they say something it about like it. gay marriage policies, dude. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. stuff like that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that makes, that makes sense. Yeah. I didn't know if it was just, like, 
it was like they're supporting Christian policies and like deep in that Christian policy it feels that certain way. Do no. you see what I'm trying to say? No, right yeah, there? Yeah, 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 you wanted to distinguish like if they're like supporting just religious like activism or exactly. if they're actually anti like, like I'm actually gay interested policies. if they're like straight up like saying like no we support this specifically or if they're like we support all Christian activities or something like that and then that just like happens to fall under it. Uh well, my understanding Probably is that they, they do support all, all Christian, yeah. sort of, like, hardcore Christian values. Because there's plenty of Christians who are gay, and there's plenty of Christians who are not anti-gay, not homophobic. Um, but they also have directly supported, like, actual policies about gay marriage and stuff like that. So to it's give like, you an example, they also donated food to a marriage seminar conducted by the Pennsylvania Family Institute, a group known for its anti-gay advocacy. Huh. And I'm pretty sure the yeah. original owner is from, like... And you don't know if, the, like, that, that group just, like, literally, like, went on Chick-fil-A's website and just bought catering? Where is he from? No, He's Chick-fil-A from... went out of their way to yeah, do it. Yeah, out of their, way to, out of their way to support it, yeah. That was the sound bite. Because, like, you know the media will literally flip stuff. Like, it literally no, could, be, yeah, it literally could be, like, they just paid for Chick-fil-A. And no, Chick-fil-A's like, I get you. You're just trying yeah. to dig deep into it. You don't want yeah. us to, like, falsely put Chick-fil-A Yeah, down. no, it's just, like, interesting to me because, like, a lot of people are, like, really, like, saying stuff. Is it, and then, like, Kanye has to say that shit, like, on his album to even make the situation, like, worse. <laughs> I know, yeah. I know people that don't specifically eat at Chick-fil-A just because they're, like, they support, like, um, all those policies. And what, what was that one? That? Like, they had, like, like their sauces, like... eating at the restaurant because of that? Yeah, would y'all uh, stop uh, If you, if you like, want to uh, boycott in your own way, you can. Um, if you want to eat Chick-fil-A, you can. I mean, if you want a sandwich, just go get a sandwich. I don't think it's really that deep, but if, yeah, if, it, deep. if it really <laughs> means a lot to you, though, you're totally entitled to do I agree with you Joe. feel. It's, I don't think it's that deep, but it's like, if you really want to do it, then do it. Yeah. Like, the people are like, literally grab like all their sauces and like they're not like every color on the rainbow like people are just like always like finding a way to get oh mad about goodness. something like that right there was a little that's that's a little like, just always finding yeah. a way to get mad about something like as if like chick-fil-a literally was sitting there homophobic and just said that on purpose you're like yeah all right so we have to make sure our sauces are this colors we can't have a green one we can't have a yellow one well i guess they do have a yellow one we can't have a blue one because that would hit too many colors no, no way, that would bro. be it was a rainbow we're no not way, for bro. that <laughs> we're not for that yeah <laughs> A blue sauce. Wow, that's insane that people actually feel like that. That's like, crazy. Chill. Yeah, chill. <laughs> a blue sauce? That'd be some ass. Think about that. Like, what would it taste <laughs> like? Maybe there's like a blueberry jam type jam. Okay, I don't know. For yeah, biscuit. yeah, okay. for the biscuit. You know what I'm saying? Hey. You can get some fire there. Why, hey, is that actually, why should that actually be a thing now? <laughs> blueberry jam for the biscuits? Hell yeah. Yo, Popeyes, do that shit. If Take they, my idea, please. I, I just want to check. Give me a check. But is, but is Popeyes, been asking, like, the is Popeyes yeah. fucked for like, for... Like, you obviously know that there was, a, like, a killing over the sandwich. Yeah. Are they fucked for, like, not, like, stopping it? And, or, I mean, how are they supposed to stop it? It's um, violence. They can't bro. literally they can't be, like, like one person died over the sandwich, so we're halting it. Like, people straight up die at McDonald's every day around the world. You're right. The fact yeah. It was a Probably. stab into... Or, it or like, what, is, what is Popeye yeah. supposed to do? Hire security? That would be I a whole think, situation. Bro, think about it. Popeye's is, like, a national, <laughs> like, that's, like, a trap fast food. Like, they have a bunch of Popeye's in the trap. They have this whole chicken craze right now. It's it's bound to get hectic. Like they, I feel like they knew this was gonna happen. I feel like the trap is not where people are gonna get hurt over Popeyes though. I feel like it's gonna be cra- just crazy people just anywhere. I don't think it's like specific to the trap. Oh no, for Personally. sure. But I'm saying it's more prone there. Like if you you saw like I've seen like hella videos like dudes throwing iced teas and shit, people getting in fights like. Uh, it's usually, like, actually it's wild. Usually like, like, so people are literally like, like that. monsters over a fucking sandwich that's three dollars. It's like I wonder where Fiends. all this like rage comes from. It's like why can't everybody just be cordial, patient? It's just if one person even bumps you, touches you, or just oh, why can't we just say excuse me or are you in line? Yeah, I've been in line. I've been in line for thirty minutes. I mean, I get it because we all get a little agitated, but. If, Exactly. Now we go back to that difference between Popeyes and Chick-fil-A now. Like, yeah. that's Yo, true. Oh, just saying, for anyone who wants to check out that Boondocks episode, it is called The Fried Chicken Flu. It is in season three, episode 13. <laughs> ah. I just double-checked it. Like, it's actually wild. Like, it's completely, like, exaggerated for what's going on right now, but it's, part of it is literally what's going on right now. If all of a sudden people start getting sick from food poisoning, I'm just saying I told you. Word. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't happen, though. Just going to speak yeah. that into existence. Knock on wood. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what over here. <laughs> what, what Eric said, the different the difference between Popeyes and Chick Fil A, like they don't got no Chick Fil A in the trap, so you're right. That that's because true. they because Chick Fil A chooses not to put them in areas like that because they're kind of fucked. Like the corporate is just kind of fucked up. Like yeah, I know. And like imagine if there's a Chick Fil A in the trap, people would eat there for sure. I think they could be getting into fights. Maybe maybe I don't know. Sure. That that's like always interesting. Like. 
I don't know, dude. Like, there's just restaurants that straight up like think like that. Like, Jr. Crickets will always be in the cut. Which is Jr. Crickets? Jr. Crickets is a rogue ass restaurant for you to bring up, bro. <laughs> like that shit is random as fuck. <laughs> 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 well, that was like, I it, feel like I know it's what you're talking about. I'm hip to Jr. Crickets. I know what Jr. Crickets is. I know what Jr. Crickets. That's like even more <laughs> trapped <laughs> than Popeyes. It's like that's like Popeyes OD. <laughs> is that Popeyes OD? Oh, shit. Do you not know what I'm talking about? Nah, I'm gonna tell you right now. Like think about it. past the James. That place on the way. Yeah, right. yeah, crickets. <laughs> that's like the yeah, most. It's on, like, it's on, Cham- well, it's on like, Chamberlain for Richmond Heads. Nah, it's nasty. like if you're thinking clap, clap chicken, you're thinking that. The nastiest thing ever is when, like. It's like not even super nasty. It's just like real ass chicken. Sketch. Bro, I'm weak at Brian. Super super like, what is he talking about, bro? <laughs> it's a like real ass chicken, bro. <laughs> chicken what do you mean, real ass chicken? Like, is there on. fake chicken? Is there fake chicken? <laughs> is it like greasy or something? Oh my god. Actually, you said it's greasy or something? Yeah. <laughs> it's just like an OG ass chicken place in the cut. It's just oh, that true. simple. Okay. It's just that simple. Word. And what we're saying is like, you're like Popeyes is known for like usually being in the trap, mm-hmm. right? And I'm saying like Jr. Crickets is always <laughs> known for being in the cut. I don't know always. what Jr. Crickets is. Like I didn't even know they like had like more than one. DVD and like a haircut. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know they had more than one either. Jr. <laughs> they only have one in the whole country. I'm literally <laughs> such a dumbass. <laughs> Like only a Richmond thing. Oh my god, it's probably just a Richmond thing too. So, I literally have no idea. No, no we need. Can we can we fact can we fact check this, bro? I'm looking it up right now. Okay. Jr. Crickets. This episode of Cloud Talk is brought to you by Jr. Crickets. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of them. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of them. Okay, The first okay. one opened in Georgia. Oh, yeah. okay, so a southern in, thing. In, like, the 1800s. Just like Popeyes. It's probably just a southern thing, and we're just not hip. I am. All of us are I from Nova, right? What? Yes. All uh, of us are from Maryland, Nova, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Maryland. But I grew up in Rhino, kind of country. Okay, got you. I grew up in Williamsburg. Oh, really? So, I thought yeah. you were in Nova. I lived sure. in Nova after high school, but I've not lived in, like, Nova's not even, like, really me, because I live in Richmond now. Okay. So it's a little different. Well, that was a little bit about us Yeah. Uh, as the host. <laughs> yeah. Um, so moving on to our next topic, how do you guys feel about um, uh, Lil Baby's new single? It's pretty smack, honestly. Smack. It's yeah. not like that different. Like it kind of sounds like a bunch of his songs, but what are we gonna expect here on a Friday? Which one? Whoa. Which which single? Whoa. It's called Whoa. Yeah, it's called Whoa. Is there a feature? No. Okay, I haven't heard it. I gotta. I gotta it's play it. it's pretty good. There um good. Uh, the snippets were um I gotta play it. the snippets were uh like all over social media for a little bit. Lil Baby was posting up a lot. It's kind of been, like, highly anticipated for him. True. Because his album's dropping in December. Hey, so, dude. Yeah. We're about to have a, like, I didn't expect this, but we're about to have a good end of the year with some albums. Yo, I'm hip. Who's coming out? Lil Baby's coming out. Right Drake. Who's coming out. Well, Drake hasn't really, like, confirmed that. Though. No, that was confirmed. He said, he said it. He literally said it. But, like, he hasn't said anything since then. He hasn't um, teased anything. I would love He hasn't that. dropped any new music besides the new Hopefully the Kanye said. album still comes out. Yeah. Um, Jesus. Honestly, I'm honestly I'm honestly hyped it. as fuck for this Roddy Rich and Trippy Red album to come out. Oh, Trippy Red's, oh, dropping, Trippy Red's dropping as well. He's dropping in November. I honestly, it was supposed to come out like two weeks ago. So I like, think that was just a single, and you had your wires crossed. <laughs> no, no, it literally said it was like supposed to be coming out tonight. Are you sure? Yeah, but it was probably just wrong information. And okay. like now, like the single dropped. And yeah, the, I agree. the single the same time. The single actually didn't even come out on that day. It came out last week, which was a week later. Oh, okay. Got yeah, you. but um, like moving on, like. That shit's probably going to come out this month, next month. It'll definitely come out this year, but I don't really yeah. think there's any proof that it's coming out this month. Well, it probably won't come out December 6th, because Roddy Rich is dropping. And I think someone, someone else is dropping December 6th, too. I forget who it is, though. Fuck, who is it? Uh, Fuck, I feel a bad. A big... I, I know that you, like, y'all don't even realize this, but like this Harry Styles album coming out is going to be so big like, for music, and like it's going to stop so many people you from listening. you Harry Styles head? No, I'm not Harry Styles head, but like there's going to be a lot of people listening to that and not listening to these albums because, like, he is huge in, like, the world. Like, yeah. you know him, right? But Whoever laughs, you know, just cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, yo, I feel like the people who listen to Harry Styles and the people who listen to rap music are just completely different, like, demographics. No, I agree, but there's, like, I feel like, like it people won't change that, the streams. People that, like, maybe not Roddy Rich specifically because he's, but, like, like, he has, like, real hip-hop fans listening to it, but, like, like, people, like, that, like, release music, like, on the radio and stuff, like, like, people that listen to, like, normal radio music and, like, like that type of hip-hop, they're gonna probably be into this new album coming out. Just because he hasn't released like his own solo, you gotta like think so about. It. He's a huge international artist. Mm-hmm. He's gonna release release like there's gonna be a lot of hype around that album. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Just realistic. But, uh, but like I just feel like the demographics are just different. Like Harry Styles dropping an album like is not gonna touch little baby fans at all. 
Like, yeah, yeah Harry little Styles, baby. Movie. If Harry, if Harry Styles and Little Baby drop on the same day, Harry Styles might go number one. A better, a better example I'm would be like a, a better example would be like if this Post Malone album still hasn't came out yet, that would probably be like yeah, you probably take some of his fans. That would definitely take some hip hop fans away because like Post, Post Malone's Post... more relevant in hip in hip hop culture like by far than than Harry Styles. Yeah, I haven't it. even heard Harry Styles' name in like a minute. Me neither. Yeah, that's and that's the thing. He like this album coming out is huge. Yeah, like, for everyone that's like ever come back. Yeah, and, like, obviously, like, I'm not a Harry Styles fan. Like, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, we got to be realistic here. Like, Nothing there are going to be a lot of people listening fan. to that. Okay. There are, are going to be... A- you are a Harry Styles fan. Yes. Nothing wrong with that, bro. No, I am. He's- and you're a Megan Thee Stallion fan. I am. I, I enjoy <laughs> Megan Thee Stallion. I, bro, she's good. <laughs> she's hype. She's, right. she's fire. Yeah. It's all right. It's in your jeans. We were talking about this last episode. It is in my, it's in my jeans. You're just yeah. a Megan Thee Stallion listener. We're just not. That's, the, we're, that's what we're seeing across from each other. Absolutely. Oh that's what we're sitting across from each other, toe to toe, go ahead. Yeah, that. right. <laughs> Yo, but um, who else dropped? Nicki Minaj dropped, right? Yes, she dropped a single, actually. I thought she quit music. Yeah, I thought she quit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was either the same shit. Maybe she was just not, like, like quitting as in she's, like, not dropping another album. I don't know, dude. Take it She a probably break. cannot get I mean, out of that studio. She probably has so much shit in the vault. She's like, why not drop it for some money? Why not? No cap, though. Because, I mean... It, it, some money is better than no money, right? Correct. Even if their streams don't do crazy, or if she doesn't own all the rights to the song, like she'll still get some money from it. That's better than nothing. Nicki's not going broke though. She's gonna get yeah, that's what I'm saying. She's bro. No, I mean she's, I, she's definitely straight. That's not what I'm saying. But like, I mean, why maybe would she, wants, she not maybe want she wants more to buy money a new bag or something? Yeah, literally, literally, that song <laughs> could get her shoes. like a fucking like pair of shoes, like, some Louboutins, <laughs> Chanel dress or something. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Chanel dress. Yeah, like that young thug type style. The (laughs) Chanel dress. (laughs) This man, young thug, is wearing anything. Bro, fuck it, he's fire. I love it. I know you're a big thug fan. Yeah, cool style, dude. He does have a really interesting style. He's always dressed like that too. Do we think anyone else is gonna drop in 2019 who hasn't said it yet? I mean, you already know Cardi. No, (laughs) not happening. Not happening. You've given up. Stop happening, dude. I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but it's definitely not coming. Like he, he, literally, he literally should have dropped on Halloween. Like, we all know it. It Dude, made the most sense in every aspect yes. of it, and he just didn't do that. So, him, him or Uzi, bro. Like, I don't even want to talk about Uzi anymore. I was going to get depressed. Like, he said, oh, he's just oh, going to get know. depressed. Oh, like, literally, if I even think about the fact that Eternal Take isn't out yet, I'm just like, what is even going on? Bro, I swear, like, Uzi's put, like, a curse at that every time someone says Eternal Take, like, it just gets delayed. It just gets delayed every time. That's so crazy shit. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, bro, like I don't, I don't think he just he's just not dropping it because there's no way his label is just holding him back still. Like it's been eight more than eight hundred days since we got some new Uzi, like a new like yeah, album. album yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. We got like bro. obviously like Talk about Love Is Rage too. That's insane that that was his last album. Eight hundred days, like let that sink in. That's a lot of days. That's a lot. That's of a lot days, of days. Bro. Without that's a lot of days of waking up depressed. <laughs> Yeah, me and my me and my co host on my other podcast were talking about this a lot and just that it's just like probably not gonna come out to like twenty like I think it's gonna come out early twenty twenty. He was like, Bro, like not even until twenty twenty one. Shout out Vince. Shout out probably. Vince. Probably. Vince is probably right. I would not be surprised. I hope I'm right though, because that's much closer. <laughs> the whole year. There's just closer. no like if you think about it, there's like no reason that he'll drop anytime soon. If there's nothing because well, he should have been dropped off, to start off the decade of 20, the 2020 strong that's yeah. that's the only I know thing but I can, I've, I I've been think. saying I've actually like been saying that I feel like he's gonna drop January 1st but I don't think it's gonna happen because it's someone like is. I'd be like on someone some is. dark twisted fantasy bullshit is uh is that a th- is that a Friday twenty the first this I don't know year? let's check yeah actually no let's check the calendar I actually uh, do not know it's a Wednesday it's a Wednesday yeah but Lizzie drops on Tuesday who likes to do that John really? He likes to do that? When, did, when has he done that? With New Paddock, Sango Paradise, all that. That's a wrap. Oh, you're Jesus. right. You're right, yeah. Well, I feel like Sango and Paradise and, and, um, and uh, That's a Rack, they were mainly attributed to the leaks, though. Yeah. Because it leaked on, like, the Sunday before. But, like, Jen now just, like, drops on Tuesday. I don't know why. Tuesday at 3, basically. Maybe it's just, like, Gen now Tuesdays or something. Like, Generation Now. They're just trying to do that. Of course, like, I don't know, bro. I hope he leaves Gen now soon. Yeah, I would love to hear some new it, it well, it's usually project based, not like time based. Oh shit! Yeah, so he probably has to drop. That's probably one of the reasons why this thing is holding up. He's, they're trying to figure out the bag, restructure everything. Okay. Yeah, because Rock Nation's supposed to be doing uh, all the uh, like management firm, obviously, as yeah. most of us know. But they're the ones that are in contact with Generation now. They're trying to restructure the deal, not Uzi. 
They're representing Uzi, obviously. Fuck Generation now. They're literally horrible for him. Yeah, I they, they haven't treated him very well. I mean, they did at the beginning. They gave him, like, like arena tours, like, before he was even, like, that big. Yeah. Like, they, they really did a great job. The DJ, DJ Drama and Don Cannon like, did a really good job for him at first. His first but then Uzi it. just realized that he was getting finessed with, like, how much money he was getting back from everything. And then he was like, yo, I'm off, y'all. Like, fuck y'all. But what are you going to do, you know? You, you sign those 360s and you get fucked. People need to learn from it. And that's why there's such, like, a big, like, people are pushing that shit with 360s now. Like, like really talking about, like, don't sign these deals, don't talk to these people, get go independent, go on United Masters, Can stuff like that. Get a lawyer. the audience what a 360 deal is? It's just because they never think they're going to get that big. You got it if you want. Yeah, what is that? You want me to get it? Yeah. A 360 deal, it's essentially just, like, a really shittily structured deal for the artist where they get way less money and, like, comes right back to the... Like, all the money that comes in, it goes right back into the label. That was my understanding, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, 360, like, all the money comes in, and it just goes, like, in a circle. Mm-hmm. They put the they put the money out, the artist makes them the bread, they get more money back, it does a 360. Oh. That was my impression. Yeah, anyway. it makes sense. The crazy thing about him was that he was just unexpectedly blew up so fast that he was getting hella money, like, thrown at him. I don't know, so yeah. much. So like, much. So like, like his, de- like, he blew up really fast, and, like, his deal wasn't structured for someone who was as big as he got that mm-hmm. quickly. That was, like, that's the biggest thing, because I don't even know if... I don't even really truly know if DJ Drama and Don Cannon were actually trying to fuck him over. But it just might have, since he blew up so, so quickly. He probably so just quickly, signed, y'all are like thinking like, he probably just signed a contract thinking he was just going to be a normal artist and he didn't realize how big he was going to get. Exactly. Like probably. that's, that's literally I mean, all it is. He, he's like, he honestly had no idea how talented he was. He said that in a lot of his like, music that he's like, I wish I could return to like how it was before. Like yeah. he doesn't even like being famous. He probably never expected he was going to get that famous. That's, that's a lot crazy. of people say that he doesn't even make music for himself anymore. Do you think that's true, Pedro? Do you think he really only makes music because the fans don't want to hear it and he just wants to be a fashion artist? Well, he said that he only makes music for money. That's he said sucks. that in the soundbite. He doesn't know his own talent. Yeah. No, it's, it's I think a, it's like the fans. I, I, I just like I don't think he makes music like he wants to anymore. Like I like I really don't think he does at this point. I, I Unless heard, it's like all a scheme. I know you're super into Uzi, just like me. Go for it. I just heard a snippet of um one of his new songs. I mean like it sounds like he's still making the music that he likes. I agree with you, but it's like... Wait, what are you trying to say? I just feel like, I don't know why he hasn't dropped this album yet, bro. Nobody knows, man. I can't even talk about it. I don't even... Like, it's like he doesn't even, like... I think he wants to take over the 2020s, the decade. I think he wants to take over the decade. He can take over the decade. He can take over every quarter of every year if he wanted to. He just chooses not to. We'll see. He could have literally already taken over all of 2019, all of 2018. You know what I'm talking about. Like, that could have already been taken over. Like, who cares, But you you gotta know that he wants to have, like, fun, though. And, like, this music shit is not even, like, a priority for him. You you know what I'm saying? He's just like, fuck it. It, But he he really cares more about this fashion shit for us. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't think he cares all about music anymore. Like, I don't think music is his number one priority. He He should drop an album, like, a year or every two years and be a model. He could be a model. People love Uzi, bro. Like... People be like, this dude thing, is so cute. Like, I know. He's so little. People love him, And the thing him, is, bro. it's like, like I'm fine with him dropping an album every year, Joe, but he's not doing that. He's not even dropping an album every two years right now. Oh, I was just saying what I thought a good model would be for him. I'm it not is saying, a good model for him, but it's yeah. not even happening. I wasn't saying We want it all to happen. Yeah, I know. I want it to happen. It, well, it probably won't happen. I was just saying I thought that would be a cool model for him. Yeah. We to have... be a model. Huh, that was funny. <laughs> I feel like Uzi always sneaks up on him. Uh, a podcast conversation like, I it's cause we're we're, we're all pretty ready. passionate about him for like, just, we all like him you yeah, know like I do yeah. <laughs> yeah respect to Uzi shout out Uzi but on um, on that note I think that's a wrap for the episode uh, be sure to check us out yeah. on um, the Cloud Talk podcast on Instagram uh, let us know if you want to hear about any more information on next, anything unique you want yeah, to talk about definitely drop some know. comments uh, and as I said before follow our parent company the Cloud Cloud Follow the uh, Cloud Club. Yeah. To, uh, link up with us. Tune in with us. And uh, be sure to tune in next week. See you all next Monday. Thank you yeah, for watching. Thanks, thanks for watching.